Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Escape from Tarkov in 2024 with the new 0.14 patch. So we're going to start by optimizing uh, Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes two percent, ten percent boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So the first thing in the first menu in the game section. I recommend to use only use physical core if you have more than four physical core on your CPU. Really important to use. So if you have a six core, uh, 12 thread or something like eight cores, uh, 16 thread or even more. Really important to use that. If you don't know if you, how many physical core that you have on your CPU, just Google the name of your CPU. The first link will be Intel or AMD and you will have all the spec for your CPU. For the FOV, the, the only thing that I want to mention, if you add more FOV in this game, you're going to lose some FPS. Me, I like to play at 63. I'm not a huge fan of high FOV in this game because the, 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 the enemy is very far when you compare like 63 to 75. So question of preference, but the only thing that you need to remember, if you add more FOV, you're going to lose FPS. Head bobbing, I'm putting at 0.2. I want less uh, distraction when I'm playing the game. So that's why I'm doing that. After that, in the graphics section, I recommend to go with native for your resolution. Don't lower your resolution over there. Make sure that you're playing native with your monitor. Make sure your aspect ratio also is at uh, native. Screen mode, super important to go with full screen. I was getting some random stuttering in Borderless when I was streaming with OBS. So uh, really, I recommend to go with full screen in this game and make sure that you have your proper monitor. Uh, I'm not using VSync, but anyway, I have a couple of options that deactivate it. I'm not a huge fan of VSync, it adds input lag. So even if you don't use like uh, NVIDIA Reflex and stuff like that, make sure that you don't activate your VSync. So the first parameter here is texture quality. If you have 6 gig and more of VRAM, go with high, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig, go with low. Shadow quality, this one is really important. If you go ultra to low, you can expect a nice 12% boost in your FPS. So really important to go with low. Object LOD quality, I like to play at 2.5. I, I feel like it's the best uh, compromise over there. Uh, at 2, you will see a lot of popping and a lot of noise when you're playing the game with the, the object. So 2.5. 2.5 is my recommendation. Overall visibility, this one tanks a lot your FPS. So I recommend to go at 1,500 and look at your FPS. If you're struggling, go at 1,000. And for sure, if you're limited with your computer, your computer is very old, you will need to play at 400. Me, I like to play at 2,000. But again, you will need the computer to run that. After that, we are in this section with the upscale uh, technique. So the first one is DLSS. If you have an R RTX card, definitely use DLSS. Don't use FSR. And also, if you want to use DLSS, I recommend to go with quality. All those other parameters, the game is too blurry, honestly. So with quality, you can expect 12 to 13% boost in your FPS. So that's pretty good. They don't use the latest version of DLSS. And with my DLSS swapper, it's not working properly. So uh, I hope they're going to improve it. But it's not the DLSS version that they were using like a year ago. And it was like very trash. So now you can use it definitely at quality. If you don't have the LSS and you want to use FSR because you have a Radiant car, same thing, same concept, 
use it at quality all those other parameters are not very good uh, quality fsr2 is less good than the lss uh, so if you have a decent radiant car and you don't necessarily need fsr i recommend to just remove them and use something else and uh you will have the option to use an anti-aliasing i'm not a huge fan of taa in this game it looks very blurry even taa honestly i like to play at fxaa it's a basic anti-aliasing or just remove the anti-aliasing the only thing is when you remove it uh you have a lot of noise in your image so it's tough sometimes you think it's an enemy but it's just like some random line who's, who's breaking so not a huge fan so maybe start with taa for you the game is not too blurry with it stay with it if not go with fxaa so we're gonna go back to quality here and beyond inclusion, I recommend to go with off. You can expect 7% boost over there. SSR, you can go with off. You can expect 4% boost. Anisotropic filtering on, it will be better and your uh, more clarity with your texture. So definitely use this one. If you have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, definitely go with on. If you don't have it, make sure that your game FPS limit is at 144. Just want to unlock your FPS. And that's pretty much it. After that, you have a slider for your sharpness. It doesn't affect your FPS. I like to play at 0.7. If you feel that your game is too blurry, go higher. If you feel that it's too defined, uh, definitely go lower. The last option over there, you have a, a couple of options that you can check. Uncheck everything to make sure that you optimize your FPS. The only thing that you will need to look at that I didn't have in my previous guide is the Street of Tarkov lower texture resolution mode. I did a couple of testing for that. First of all, it just applied for Street of Tarkov. And uh, I was saving like 3 gig of VRAM and 10 gig of RAM. So it's more for... If you have 16, uh, 16 gig of RAM in your computer or lower, definitely this will help you a lot. It optimizes your RAM. So uh, if you're playing with a computer with 8 gig of RAM, 12 gig, 16 gig, definitely use that. If you're playing with 32 gig or more, definitely uncheck this one. The game, uh, the, 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 <laughs> the map looks very bad, honestly. The texture, I don't like uh, the effect that they did. But, you know, it helps for your FPS. One more thing I want to mention now. Binaural Bino Audio is running well. I just have, have two, uh, two FPS different with or without it. So it's not an issue anymore. I remember back in the days you were losing like 30 or 40% of your FPS. FPS. Uh, maybe you will have it if you have like a very old CPU, an old four core egg thread like from nine years ago, but normally you should be fine with this one. So that's about it for my Tarkov guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can and enjoy point 14. Peace.